I mean, probably still not the silliest superpower out there. And the first mm-hmm. one that pops up after that is Bath God. Ba- Bath God? B A R F G U R A R D. Oh, Bath B- Bath Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Protector the of the bath. <laughs> By the way, hi, welcome to stream. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. We uh, have a new power. <laughs> we have n- new powers have been un- has been unleashed. <laughs> uh, Discord have added a soundboard that anyone can use. Um... <laughs> uh, I could theoretically turn it off, but. Chaos reigns here, so. <laughs> if it's silly, it stays in the stream. <laughs> yep. That's silly. The rules. <laughs> silly is the only rule here. Um, also, you may occasionally hear a dog playing with a plastic bottle. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, indeed. Um, so, yeah, welcome to Strim. Um, we are here to do things, theoretically. Uh, also, practically. I So. A couple of us went with the superhero theme for the cats. <laughs> I mean, it could be a Dalek theme superhero. Not a superhero. I, it could be. It could be a superhero. Are you telling me my my little guy is not a superhero? How dare you? <laughs> I mean, if it was a goose themed outfit, I would say it's a supervillain. Yeah. It depends specifically what it is, but the quack, I guess, gives it away. It, it's a. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> <laughs> also, a little bit chicken vibes, but it's Easter, so it's probably fine. Yeah, it's the Easter duck. It's the, this is the Easter duck. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why not. It seems perfectly reasonable. The dog of Easter's that hides all the chocolate chicken eggs around. Yeah. The, the and then all the credits to a bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the bunny hides bunny eggs. We know this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi, Bear. How you doing? Um. Ye. So, uh, just before we started, we found, well, uh, Ragdoll found yet another website full of generators, and one of the ones that caught my attention was Silly Superhero Names. So, we're gonna give that a whirl. Why not? Well, we'll probably find out why not. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, uh, uh, has everyone got the website and is ready to doodle? Yeah, uh, just a second, because Dabo just went off. Uh, from the desk with my growing glove. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad idea to teach Doggo to get on desk. Bunny eggs are indeed brown and round. That is true! A lot smaller than I would have thought. Okay, so who wants to go first? I got a perfect name to give to someone. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you can choose either for me or Ragnall to draw it. I, I, because <laughs> cor- well, new, uh, alphabetical order. <laughs> Sorry, Christy. Ooh, I mean, we, we could bug the trend and I have to remember a rotor by having Christy draw it. I mean, you do what you want, Chris. You want who, who do you, you have a prompt. You choose who you want to draw it. Well, in that case, I'm choosing you. Go oh, okay. first on your own stream. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> hang, um, on. hang on, hang on. It's, it's, it's get the. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, correct. I'm sorry. Forget <laughs> my uh, foul words. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Chris, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got two. <laughs> Marvelous. Um, <laughs> which is, which is itself separate from that one. Um, too many now. <laughs> I didn't know Discord was going to add this. If I can work out a way of connecting my bot to Discord to read the sound effects that are happening, I will absolutely connect them together. But yeah. And just have Honk come up whenever a quack happens. Um, anyway. anyway. Chris, Hello. Will you please draw for me? Pretty please. Draw Commando Potato. <laughs> <laughs> com- com- commando Potato. 
Commando potato. Uh, okay, I'm 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 just gonna draw a potato. Um. <laughs> That's what I want. Please draw a potato, superhero. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's gonna be like. Now the question is, what kind of potato? Commando potato. Commando potato. Because <laughs> we've got uh, like yeah. raw potatoes and baked potatoes and mashed potatoes. Stick them in the stew potatoes. Look, you have four sarcastic sound effects you can do in relation to bad jokes. You don't have to go <laughs> 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 Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's We're still adjusting to the new power. <laughs> it's like it's just sixty percent sarcasm, these sound effects. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's quite astonishing. Hi oops, how you doing? Hi, oops. <laughs> I love the quack. <laughs> it's a very good quack. But also, this potentially gives us um, even more power because there is an option to upload more sounds. Although, it yeah. looks like in order to add more sounds, you have to have permission from the server. Chris can upload to... sounds. <laughs> I can upload whatever sounds I like. Yes, and we don't know how many of those will be sarcastic. <laughs> all. <laughs> all. All sarcasm. The most uh, chasmness of SARS. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um... <laughs> You're drawing Commando Potato. That's what you're doing. Kind of has the vibe of uh, execute right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't know, potato! Um... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I have to change this. It's potato eater instead of snake eater. This is the third attempt. Third draft. Delete your art. They're like looking up in the cityscape for the moon. <laughs> Classic superhero. We're doing random superheroes, by the way. Uh, yeah, all right. Oops. How's how? Well, I, I'm all right. I can't speak on behalf of anyone else. Um, how was how was an oob? Well, did I ask that, and that's why you responded like that? That's prob <laughs> probably what happened. Probably yes. <laughs> probably that's what happened. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up with yourself. Um... <laughs> Keep up with your own self. <laughs> I do think you, your little thing on stream lights up <laughs> when that happens, so it, it, everyone knows who the sound effect is coming from. Um... Good. <laughs> oh, good. That's How about you, that? <laughs> we're, we're doing all right. Thanks. How are you doing? Um, oh, now we enter the recursion as we go around and around and around. Uh, yeah, you know, big nose for some reason. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, its nose is potato shaped. Why not? Oh, the D&D &D movie. Ooh. Oh, I heard it's pretty good. Oh. And I heard that from uh, the D&D &D Discord server that I'm in. So they are pretty critical. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that's that's high praise. <laughs> yeah, that, that is high praise <laughs> for a D&D &D movie. The D&D &D nerds at least like it. <laughs> 
it. Some of them even love it, but you know. <laughs> My, from what I have gathered, it very much feels like someone, that whoever wrote the movie, did their homework, as it were. Yeah. That's handy. <laughs> That's the vibe I got from their, uh, like, tiny little reviews as well of like, uh, you know, at least the people who made the D and D movie were willing to do their homework and you know like clearly l like and love D and D <laughs> and know stuff about it because <laughs> people were because it's a nerd circle of nerds. So they were also immediately talking about the World of Warcraft movie, I believe, and how they hated it. Oh, At least yeah, the that ones one. that had actually played World of Warcraft hated it. <laughs> so my understanding of the World of Warcraft movies, they apparently... It, it was less of a World of Warcraft movie and more of a serious high fantasy with sort of the names from World of Warcraft stapled on. Which is why everyone's just kind of like, nah. Nah. <clears throat> Although it did lead to the joke of, you could tell it's not actually a World of Warcraft movie because the pauldrons aren't, as, aren't twice the size of their heads. <laughs> Classic massive pauldrons. Uh, also, I have just realized that the initials of Commando Potato are the same as mine. Um, <laughs> perhaps are you coup. secretly the Commando Potato? Am I? I've... You are the Potat. <laughs> Moonlighting as a parsnip this whole time. No, I was a potato! Crispy potato. <laughs> Great news. I'm back uh, having looked for my Apple Pencil everywhere and apparently I've lost it. I hope oh, no. my dog didn't find it. Fingers crossed. Uh oh. Yeah. So it's a finger drawing night tonight. <laughs> It's quite difficult to draw a potato that looks like a person, kind of. <laughs> I love also, the I, ha I, I like the idea, I've, I've given them these sort of short stubby arms. Um, I like the idea that they're not actually arms, they're just part of the potato. Um, <laughs> so you can't move them. <laughs> it's, it's like the root vegetables where you pluck them out and it's like, oh, that looks like a person. <clears throat> yeah. Got legs and arms. Somebody Mandrake just here. took a roughly person-shaped potato, dipped it in, I don't know, radioactive... Uh, I don't know, what do you dip potatoes in? <laughs> gravy? Butter? Perfect, I'm going with radioactive gravy, that sounds funny. Um, <laughs> uh, and then it, it became sentient. Uh, unable to move, but sentient. And, yeah, the rest is... A crappy comic book. <laughs> also, you did draw a thumb, though. I drew one now. A thumb. A thumb. It's a potato thumb. Oh, thumb. yeah, that does look sort of thummy. Potato thumb. <laughs> Pathumto. Thumbo. <laughs> Shh. You'll, you'll, you'll give away the secret identity of Thumbto. <laughs> thumb oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'd say that's a terrible name, but also. I mean, that's every hero name. Terrible, I mean. You heard of Ant Man? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure in at least one of the Spy Kid movies, they had things called Thumb Thumbs in yeah, them, so. Yes. <laughs> They are nightmare fuel, and I I blame Alan Cumming personally. Always blame that. <laughs> As Alan Cumming. Yeah, blame him always, harshly. Judge him for his life decisions. Don't eat the raw potato. Oops, it's radioactive. Uh, also, all I actually got out of the commando prompt was to give them a bandana and no underwear. 
<laughs> They're going commando. Hmm. They're a commando that's going commando. But also they're a potato, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. That's that's supposed to be a crispy potato. Um, Commander potato. Yeah. <laughs> Not crispy. Or it could also be crispy. Okay. I mean, first it's, name it's Chris. Been, <laughs> it's been exposed to radiation, so it might be at least a little crispy. <laughs> Just That's a little bit. bit um, diet fries, crispy. A little bit roasted. Just the potato thing. <laughs> <segment. laughs> <laughs> they just put a lump of paper on the slice. <laughs> Not actually potato. It's just like, ah, whatever, just call it. As long as it looks vaguely potato shaped, it will be fine. <laughs> I mean that, or someone actually put their baked potato on. Yeah. <laughs> they did, they um, did that accidentally one day, and potatoes, the commander potato, just showed up and was like, "Oh, okay, that's useful." <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. I have a use. <laughs> yeah. So someone, so some, someone was just taking their lunch or dinner. Actually, if it's nighttime, just up, and it's like, "Well, I need to." Juggling food, getting stuff out of their thing, puts their baked potato wrapped in tin foil on top of the light. <laughs> Suddenly, a superhero shows up. <laughs> Honestly, just the idea of like the person manning the light just does something accidentally, like on it, and then a superhero shows up is just really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now I've got this idea of like you know canonical Batman Gotham. They they do the bat signal, but like something something gets in the way of the bat and looks slightly different, and a slightly different superhero turns up, and they're just like they spend the entire evening just changing the shape slightly, and different heroes keep turning up. <laughs> yeah, and it's like okay, interesting. This is the thing. How many heroes in Gotham can we find? This way? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, Turns it's out like... all of them. <laughs> It's like doing bird calls, but for superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> for every given shape, there is a superhero. <laughs> and they forget what they needed uh, Batman for at that night, but it's fine. Whatever, yeah. it's probably the Joker. <laughs> That's fine. They can deal with that. Look at you doing rim lighting on the position. <laughs> Look, the the more epic, the the, the funnier. <laughs> it's a potato. Of course, they're gonna get rim lighting. Oh hi, miss. Hi, How's miss. miss? <laughs> Commando potato, and also we have uh, Discord gave us sound effects, so. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine for Chris's streams. <laughs> uh, sure, there we go. There's <laughs> Commando Potato, I suppose. <laughs> Perfect. Commando Potato, everybody. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> Raph. Um, cool. My dog um, kicks everyone outside the window. No, no! But what if they come in and give strokes? <laughs> what if you don't let strangers into Christie's house? <laughs> but what if strokes for dog? Anyway, enough of that. That's Commando Potato. Moving on! Uh, oh, I, I guess I'd give a prompt to someone. Um, Christy. Yeah. Christy. Um, what do we got? <laughs> Not too complicated. <laughs> Thinking I ha have um, bingy powers tonight. Mm. That's fine. I think actually this will work quite well with this prompt. <clears throat> um, so yeah, Christy can't find the uh, uh, pencil. So slight handicap in this instance, but I'm sure you'll do great at drawing Spider Drunk. <laughs> spider Drunk Spider, but Spider Drunk. 
Spider drunk. <laughs> spider drunk. Spider drunk. Now, is it a drunk who is a spider, or is it a spider who is just drunk? <laughs> well, it's it's up to Christie's imagination. <laughs> it won't look like a spider. I know that much. <laughs> good, Mrs. Here. Yeah, I was about to say, Mrs. Here. It's probably a good thing that you're we're drawing the spider, but not well. But not. And there's no way in hell I'm gonna look up spider reference pictures. That's fair. Yeah. Don't. Don't do so, this person just I'd... drunk drunk of spiders. Do they drink a spider? <laughs> do they drink spiders? Do they drink spiders? <laughs> That's spider drunk. a terrible yeah. idea. <clears throat> it's spider drunk past tense. Like <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. You can drink anything once. <laughs> <laughs> if you soak them in some alcohol, I mean It'll cheer them up, I'm sure. Um, the new Spider-Verse movie looks so cool. Nice. There's a new one. I didn't know there was a new one yet. Or is there just a trailer for it? I don't know. I don't know if it's come out yet, but there's definitely trailers. Um, uh, I haven't seen oh. the trailers yet. And there's oh. a lot more Spider-Man. Just the trailer. And also oh, they I did, did the Spider-Man yeah. meme of... I have seen that. Multiple Spider Men standing there pointing at each other accusationally. <laughs> Yay. That is now canon. <laughs> Yay. As canon as you can get in a multiverse? Yes. I mean, it was already canon, but it was also but from yeah. a, a very old Spider Man cartoon uh, that was not well made. <laughs> in the sense that some of the they they the some of the slides were like. Some of the cells, I should say, were reused from other shows. Coke so floats it might have been Batman. There, there, there are many words in that sentence I don't understand about. <laughs> well, I know all the words individually. A Coke float, but with a cream soda. I know about Coke. I know what floating is. Cream's a thing, and soda's bubbly. Coke floating. But instead of Coke, it's cream soda floating. <laughs> <laughs> so it's bubbly milk? What? Floating on what? Levi I don't know. <laughs> bu no, bubbly I, levitating milk. I know what milk. Bear is talking about, but I don't know why they're called spiders. They're not, they're bub it's because bubbly spiders floating float. milk. <laughs> it's, we, over here, we call it fizzy lifting drinks. <laughs> Um, fizzy what? Fizzy lifting drinks. You stole fizzy lifting drinks, etc., etc. You get nothing. Uh, Coke float is a Coke with ice cream on. A Coke with ice cream is that a thing? Yeah, well, I guess it is so a thing because you just called it a thing. <laughs> here, the most common version of it is what's called a root beer float, where you take root beer and <clears> then you put a scoop or two of vanilla ice cream on top. And it does a bunch of frothy, foamy stuff, and it's really sweet. I'm not even that <laughs> big a fan of ice I've cream. I've done it with other sodas as well. I've also done it with, like, like fruit-flavored sodas. Why are you putting it with fizzy drinks? I don't get this. <laughs> Why do you put anything with fizzy drinks? And... <clears throat> I, I, so I've, I've just worked out what Christy's drawing. <laughs> this is yeah, a good perspective. I really read without the couch. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm thinking this pose looked spider drunk to me. So if I yeah. added more limbs, <laughs> but um, yeah, I love it, Chris. That's Yay. cool. Yeah, that they, they are drunk and they are doing the spider pose. In which case, all of the <laughs> limbs are everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, why is it called a spy? What, what about cream soda, which I still have questions about? Um, I don't know what the cream soda is. Converts a Coke float into a spider? It's a cream soda. I'm guessing it's a sort of creamy, fizzy drink. I think disgusting. Um, yeah, I can imagine it's not. Yeah. <laughs> 
gonna be in in my mouth. It already tastes like sort of soured milk. Um. No, cream sodas are pretty good. Okay, right. That's, I'm glad to know. I'm glad people aren't just happily celebrating soured milk, but uh, by adding fizz. Now it's definitely. Oh, hello. We have pictures. It it's definitely not something that you want to have like sitting around for a while, but that's mainly because things will start to separate weirdly, and it's like, hmm. This is bizarre to me. <laughs> Won't it like separate weirdly after minutes? No. Impressive. This this feel. I'm getting the same feeling looking at this picture of the root beer float that I get looking at like when an AI art has gone wrong. <laughs> like I'm looking at a hand with seven fingers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Something is uncanny here. See, that's really <laughs> funny to me because root beer floats are like a fairly ubiquitous <laughs> um, American diner drink. Like if anyone's talking about, oh, the good old days, root beer floats are probably getting involved somewhere in the description. Okay. Interesting. Bar. I give you a spider drunk. That's just a bottle of water, miss. Uh, spider drunk. Spider drunk. Spider drunk. Does. <laughs> <laughs> True. E. Australia and New Zealand an ice cream float is known as a spider because once the combination hits the ice cream, it forms a spider web-like reaction. Ugh. What is it? <laughs> Why would you want that in your drink? I don't want to. I don't want my drinks to have skin. That's just Friends, me. Why do you? <laughs> want I to this... in your drink? It's it's not skin. It has to do with how it um. So you know how whenever you pour <laughs> Good cream idea, into miss. coffee, it sort of it, unless you're going in and stirring it, it sort of branches out it, and you can use it to make various patterns at the top what oh, I've is seen that, that miss <laughs> yeah I, it, miss has solid milk apparently you what can just buy a bar that? of milk <laughs> I mean I can understand you not butter. wanting to google spider <laughs> but I can also wa understand not wanting to google Australian spider yeah that's exactly butter. yeah miss, that's butter butter <laughs> Do, do you call butter <laughs> chewy milk? Is... <laughs> if so, your your butter's got a bit weird. Um... I, I I'm loving this conversation because every explanation that is given for something gets more confusing. <laughs> do you have you got a spider? What it's like a, a root beer float? What it's made with cream soda? Well, they're like milk chews. Well, it's just it, every possible explanation gets more and more obscure. <laughs> <laughs> I learned learn today of uh, snaps and milk. Snaps? Oh. Snaps and milk? Which mm. snaps? Um, just Danish. So I've just posted a image of another uh, soda <laughs> float drink, but it's using a fruit, fruity soda instead of a root beer. That, that kind of makes more sense to me. It's like you're just adding a flavor, like a, a fruity flavor to the ice cream. But still, the fizziness is a bit... I guess I have to try it at some point in order to know, but... Well, so you see how the... Also, I'm, well, you've I'm, got I'm, the ice cream, and then you've got, like, all the white foam. Basically what happens is when the ice cream hits the soda, the carbonation uh, and the cream sort of turn into this foamy stuff instead of the solid ice cream. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the spider. Okay. I, I, also, due to the fact that this conversation is happening with the backdrop of uh, Spider Drunk, I'm imagining all of these are alcoholic. I, they're probably <laughs> not. <laughs> I mean, you could probably make an alcoholic root beer float, but I'm not going to drink it because <clears throat> I don't really like the taste of alcohol. Wait, is root beer not alcoholic? No. Why is it called beer then? Because it's American. <laughs> Every explanation gets more confusing. 
So root root beer is a soda uh, that is flavored with uh, what's it called? If, if you don't say roots, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> I mean, it is a type of root. Okay, just... that's good. Okay. <laughs> Why is ginger beer called ginger beer? Is that not alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 soda flavored with ginger. Why are people calling these things beer? (laughs) It's alcoholic Ah, beer. Sassafras. And ale, apparently. (laughs) Root root beer is flavored with either sarsaparilla or sassafras root. What? They're they're Hanna-Barbera characters. They're not real things. (laughs) Sarsaparilla? Sarsaparilla is from the Smurfs. (laughs) (laughs) Sarsaparilla is from the Smurfs, and and (laughs) sassafras is the sidekick of Snagglepuss. What's sarsaparilla was like when you were like, Dang. Yeah, it's, 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 it's so, mostly so it's what I'm hearing fresher, fresher. is I need to get all of you over here and take you <laughs> over to the soda store so I can introduce you to all of the weird soda flavors that we have here in the United States. Oh, no, no, no. I see you two challenges. No need for that. <laughs> I mean, I, I promise I won't make me. you drink. I won't drink them. <laughs> I, I promise I won't make you drink the chocolate covered bacon flavored soda. <laughs> I, I knew bacon flavored so you, it was a you, thing and apparently everyone fucking thinks it's disgusting because of course <laughs> yeah you're, you're to be fair you're one you're one deep frying away from making something scottish so <laughs> oh so. and um that's a plant yeah that's a sassafras no. Okay, and that's a, the root. It looks like a little. Yeah, pot, so but... that, that's the sassafras Aww. plant. And you <laughs> use the bark specifically from the roots as the flavoring for the root beer if you're making it traditionally. Right. It's a dinosaur's foot. It, it's, it's a nice shaped leaf. I like mm. that leaf. It's a good one. It's a little paw. Yeah, I'll get nine out of ten. Good leaf. Good leaf. Send in your leaves to <laughs> leafwatch at crispyparsnips.org. We'll rate um, your leaves. <laughs> rate your leaves dot com. <laughs> um, yeah, should, should we, I guess drawing should happen. <laughs> I guess. We, we've, we argued about weird drinks for longer than Christy <laughs> took to draw this. So. <laughs> <laughs> we've got our priorities completely the wrong way around. Okay, so Christy, do you you have a prompt for Ragdoll? Yes. E. Um, Make me draw something so I'm not looking up more pictures of root beer. I I did see that, miss. (laughs) Death Poodle. Ooh. (laughs) Death what? Death Poodle. Death Poodle. Death Poodle. (laughs) It's a villain. That sounds like a poodle. (laughs) Yeah. This this is a poodle that takes itself very seriously. Either that or it's a poodle that's really into death metal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just so a metal poodle. Drop poodle. The, the problem is that in my head, a poodle has like the, the sort of tight curly hair. Um, but you know, now I'm trying to imagine how it would look like in a sort of death metal style. And all that hair's getting, getting straightened and like blackened or spiked or something. All uh, up. So it wouldn't look like a poodle, you know? <laughs> it's gonna Have be difficult to draw that. Haircuts? They can be anything they wanna be. I mean, uh, well, their owners can make them anything they want. <laughs> yeah, poodles they are be poodle. fun because they're they're water dogs by breed, which is part of the reason why their hair is the way it is. Well, they're made of clouds, so it makes sense. Hmm. That's why my dog likes to shower. He's part pool. <laughs> ah. Oh, poodle like puddle. I get it. <laughs> I get the name now. <laughs> we went, should we have soda or an ice cream? And came to a decision. I mean, that's admirable. But the empiricist in me would prefer the conclusion of that to be, right, let's not do that again. <laughs> I mean, you won't know until you try it? You won't know until you try yeah. That's fair. To be fair, I was recently... Uh, I was given uh, some a licorice treat as a as an Easter present. I, like, hey, I have some nice sweet things. I was like, okay, sure. I've, I've, I'm not a huge fan of licorice. It's fine. Um, 
but yeah, this is well, it's nice. Thank you very much. And then I tried mm-hmm. it, and it was really good. There's something about the combination of the licorice and all the other stuff that was in it, it was brilliant. So yeah. you've got a convert. <laughs> Sorry, I mentioned licorice around a Dutch person. How <laughs> dangerous! <laughs> 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 Trail. <laughs> give me like, give me your like. <laughs> I might have eaten it all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, oops! If you do plan to try some sort of root beer float or spider or whatever you want to call it, it's essentially soda with an ice cream in it. Um, a lot of the time, if you're getting it, you put it in a chilled cup, so you get a you get a glass, like actual glass. And you chill the glass by like putting it in a fridge or something for a while. Then you pour in the soda and the ice cream. Yeah, you don't have to do that, but it does. It it does make it sort of frothier, in my opinion, <laughs> and then it keeps the ice cream cold for longer. Oh, the pack still smells. I must say, the red one looks quite yummy. The the, the chocolate one, I'm not. Yeah, like, I, I would start with the red one. I think. Litty to me, but the red one, I could actually. I could get um, behind. Yeah, that, that feels like <clears throat> not too many steps away from something that feels relatively sensible. Especially um, if it's like raspberry soda. Mm. <clears throat> I've just looked at the ingredients of these licorice things. Ingredients. Sugar. Licorice. Glucose fructose <laughs> syrup. Molasses. <laughs> it's just like, hey, do you want some sugar? Yeah, it's all just sugar with aniseed. Um, or licorice root. It's just sugar. Very nice smell. I'm guessing y'all haven't drunken licorice then. Except maybe cheap. Licorice drink? No, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't. At the Easter party today, or Easter dinner, Danish Easter dinner always has licorice schnapps. Ooh. That sounds really good. <laughs> really good. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to drink it like <laughs> that. That sort of makes sense to me because so whenever I'm interacting with licorice or aniseed, <gasps> it's usually in a um, it's usually in liquid form where you you've got it like uh like vanilla extract, but it's aniseed extract, and that is technically an alcohol. So, so I can. Uh, uh... Uh, so that's not. Uh, hmm. Sorry, there's another thing that's popped into my head. Uh... <laughs> you know that <clears throat> they're different things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and yeah, aniseed and licorice are different things. Good. I thought I was going mad. They taste completely different to me. Yeah. Uh, aniseed is more minty, fresh. I I love aniseed. Uh, that's absolutely great. Licorice is it's all right. Uh, apparently, with with the right mixture of ingredients, it's really really good. But on its own, yeah. Which is why I said whenever I'm dealing with licor- something like licorice or aniseed, I'm usually dealing with the extract, not the like right, actual okay. <clears throat> plant. We use the little uh, star shaped pots for a lot of things. Uh, oh yeah, That's the, the pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I mean, vanilla also technically you can get vanilla pods, but I've also never worked with vanilla pods. I've worked with vanilla extract. Mm. In which case, it's a it's a little brownish colored glass container with the with the alcohol inside. Also, apparently, there's there's some controversy in chat as to what color cream soda is. <clears throat> Miss says cream. it's clear. Bear says it's red in Australia, but green in South Africa. I'm imagining this is not a <clears throat> production issue. If you if if you go on a plane, it changes color. That's, that's my. <laughs> no, it does. <clears throat> See, it, it here in the to... United States, <laughs> it's sort of a, uh, it's sort of a light brown color. But we also have a difference. But there's also a distinction between cream soda which is a soda that has a creamy flavor to it versus a fruit cream soda or sometimes what's called an Irish cream, but not Irish, Italian cream soda, which is usually like 
orange or red, depending on the fruit flavor. That's so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> At least I I don't know what. Cause it's is it does it show in Danish crown? No, it's in Danish crown. It's not expensive at all. Oh, okay. I don't know the conversion of Danish crowns to euros. Um, it's uh euros. It's seven times um more expensive. Oh, that it's only seventeen euros. That's fine then, or like something like that. Oh. This is the one we had today. It was delicious. Sixteen point four percent alcohol. Like alcohol because I don't <clears throat> like anything that uh, brings texture to my drink. But <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Uh, but also like, liquor. <laughs> liquor is Surely, um, you take a bunch of licorice. And you soak it in just enough alcohol to make a syrup that's drinkable. That's Ooh. what <laughs> it does can sound you... good though. Very can sugary. You, can you get just a licorice drink that isn't alcoholic? That's what I wanna know. Hmm. I wanna know that too. Give Ooh, me hello. licorice to drink. Sh sugarelli. Sugarelli? Sugarelli or licorice water is a traditional British soft drink made with licorice. What? Y'all got uh, it. I've never heard of it. Uh. I tried to Google Sugarelli and all I got was a type of fish. <laughs> <laughs> that, I guess that's not how you smell. It it, it, strangely, it tastes like licorice. Weird. Um, it's a licorice it's fish. The fish made out of licorice. Uh, I just licorice got a picture fish. of... I, I got a picture of Angkor Wat for some reason. The, the Google's weird. Uh... Hmm. I don't think it's a thing over here. If it's licorice, it's alcohol. Also, I love this heavy metal tool. E. Mm, spiked colors. E. Yeah, it's perfect. I didn't even think of that when I chose the name. I mean, that's the fun part of giving the name to someone else. You e. never know what they're going to do with it. It just seems oh, yeah, so obvious. Here, here's the death poodle. Yee. Yee. Don't, Yee. don't mess around with them. That the <clears> spiked <throat> wrists, the, the spiked collars are there for a reason. And the reason is it loves people so much it uh, jumps up and down you and you will get scratched by accident. <laughs> or maybe deliberate. Uh, I, I would just like to read a sentence from the Sugarelli Wikipedia page, just while we're here. Um, the world's that. most renowned connoisseurs of Sugarelli, mm. no citation, are Evelyn and Mary McNeil of Nairn, who created such wonderful concoctions of the drink as children in wartime Britain, in their hometown of Nairn, Highland, Scotland, that I'm... became the stuff of legend. I'm sorry, they created what? <laughs> they created what? Such, such wonderful concoctions, I don't know who wrote this article, of the drink... <laughs> As children in wartime Britain, in the hometown of Nairn, children Highland, Scotland. In... Oh, so they created it when they were children. Okay. Yes. Oh, that I thought that the was the name make of more the sense. drink. It, it's a really <laughs> yeah. They created such wonderful concoctions of the drink as war children in wartime Britain. What a wonderful drink that was. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you meant. I was like, what? <laughs> also, it has a guide to making it. Apparently, I'm scared to click this link. Uh, <laughs> electricscotland.com <laughs> Banana sandwiches. This is a weird Banana element. sandwiches, okay. <laughs> a Sorry, very I'm... traditional British food. <laughs> Peanut butter, banana, Nutella. Best sandwich you'll get. P Peanut... I have an issue with the combination of chocolate and peanut butter, but that's just for me. No! It's, it's a really common, <laughs> sorry, it's a really common thing in the Netherlands to eat bread with peanut butter and uh, hagelslag, which is our chocolate sprinkles 
kind of smooth. Uh, yeah, yeah. It tastes like chocolate. So. <laughs> um. Um. But nah, I don't good. eat it because, uh, I cannot stand the smell of peanut butter. <laughs> that's that's also fair. <laughs> that's fair. It makes. I me mean, just because something honest, is, so. just because something is generally considered to be tasty, doesn't mean everyone yeah. has to like it. Like there, there I is don't like peanut butter when it's like concealed with other stuff. Mm -hmm. There is a reason why we've taken every possible subjective experience in the world and referred to it as taste yeah your, your taste in clothes or music or whatever it's because taste is the archetypical completely subjective thing yes. you do not have to agree with anybody else's and that's fine i just wanted to mention that it's a thing that a lot of people over here do in the netherlands i am just not one <laughs> of them that's fair because I'm not a good Dutch person. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take take me as the stereotypical Dutch person. You'll be very disappointed. <laughs> well, <clears throat> apparently, Miss agrees with you. I mean, well, Miss agrees with you on this, but she also hates licorice. So, yeah, and Miss is wrong about that because licorice. <laughs> is <great. laughs> so, so you, you make up so. for not liking the peanut butter sandwich stuff by being really hard on lo loving licorice. I mean, that's also every <laughs> Dutch person, so... <laughs> I am also generally mildly liking licorice for a Dutch person. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes that idea. You don't eat it for breakfast. How oh, dare. Because generally <laughs> I'm not a fan of the, the salty type of licorice. I like my licorice very specific it's very specific types of licorice that That's i really funny. really love sorry i wasn't we listening did you say salty thing. oh sorry hmm what did, did you say salty yeah you don't know salt? salty licorice salty no <laughs> yeah salty licorice it's covered in salt i've not no it's i've so never heard of that green? no I mean, <laughs> as as someone who doesn't really enjoy licorice, that makes sense to me because you've also got taffy and caramel where you do a similar thing. Wait, is salty licorice not a thing? Not uh, a it contest? might be, but I've never seen it. <laughs> what are you I mean? wouldn't know one way or the other. I don't eat licorice. It's just it's just, it's just licorice t t sweet things. It's, it's, you just put salt, salt on it. Salty licorice <laughs> isn't exactly sweet as much as it is. Um, uh, full of salt. Yeah, that's salt on your senses. Like seventy percent of like the the licorice that is sold is generally salt licorice, something we classify as salt licorice, and is also covered in salt. Yeah, uh, so this is baffling information to me. Apparently the, the licorice I had has a tiny bit of salt in it, but no, not, not significant amount. It's like 50% salt. I, I think we're across purposes here. Yeah, <laughs> that is anyway. not... I, I can guarantee in this particular thing, because ingredients are listed in size order, that there's at, at most 1.5% salt. Danish um, salt I licorice need... isn't salty, but it um, has a high <laughs> concentration of ammonium chloride. Sorry, I'm just googling how many salt there is in my uh, in the one that I like the most. Let me see if I can find that information. Isn't that why you confuse the taste with anise? I didn't confuse the taste with anise. I was conf people keep t saying that licorice and anise taste similar, and I don't see it at all. They are completely different mm. to me. Um, yeah, it turns, it turns out the UK has crap bread and fake licorice, yeah. I don't get the UK. Why is all your food fake? <laughs> <laughs> we just do it differently, I guess. In the same way that, for some reason, other countries put ice cream in beer. Fake beer, sorry. It's beer that soda. isn't beer. You call it beer. <laughs> Because we keep we eating the sweet ones. We have meatloaf and call it fake um, rabbit. 
Oh, that's fair. This is, you know. He's just made a thing that's a similar to the thing, and like, oh yeah, that's kind of fun. Oh yeah, yeah, but it was it, it, meant to be rabbit. It, it's, it's not because like, yeah, it's, it's not because I keep eating the sweet ones. I've never heard of salty ones at all. <laughs> yeah, that's wild to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea there were like multiple different ways of preparing licorice at all. It's just licorice. What? <laughs> There's so many types of licorice. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Cultural differences. Uh, in oh, order, yeah. in order to stop yes. Jeeb going down a rabbit hole here, Jeeb, do you want to draw a superhero made of licorice? Sure. Could just know whatever. that now, whenever you come to the Netherlands, I'm taking you to get licorice. Yeah, you got to eat the licorice. I'm going to force you to eat licorice. <laughs> <laughs> when they when they stop me aboard a patrol and and they say, "Hey, what are you going to Netherlands for?" and I say, "Licorice," you're like, mm. "Is that code?" No, no, lit literally licorice. <laughs> licorice powder? No. <laughs> Just chewy licorice sweets. Yes, ra uh, rag Ragdoll, do you have a prompt for Jim? Yes. So, the name I've got here is Saint Mollusk. <laughs> Saint Mollusk. Yes. <laughs> Okie dokie. Same for the Grinch, but they keep feeding and putting. I haven't seen the Grinch, but that that feels. You don't have to force feed me licorice. I will try it. It's fine. I'll do. I'll do licorice tasting. No issues at all, with the possible exception of the alcoholic licorice drink. But uh... licorice tea? No. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just sort of steep licorice in a tea-like thing. Or tea, as most people probably call it. So I think I might know why root beer isn't so commonly known on the other side of the ocean. Uh, sassafras is a North American plant. That makes sense. You dropped a lot of bombs on me, yeah. And the bombs, a lot of the bombs were, you know, completely mislabeled, apparently. <laughs> uh, Cheeb, you know you're muted, yeah? Thank you. Oh, all right. <laughs> just checking, just checking. I was just... <laughs> no! <laughs> you mean... <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking what mollusks are. Oh, uh, uh the bivalve creatures. Um, let's get some examples. So, like clams and stuff. Okay, that's what yeah. I assumed. It's it's a seafood. Clams. Oh, snails. Octopi. Octopuses. What? There's a lot of choice. That. Sounds not like they shouldn't be like the same thing. <laughs> look, look. If there's one thing you learn about uh, species on planet Earth is that there is no clear divide between things that look kind of similar. Um, and sure. Oh no, there's no, no clear divide between things that don't look at all similar, and a very yeah, clear divide um... between two things that look identical. <laughs> Mollusks comprise yeah, 23% of... Yeah, rabbits and hares of... are entirely different. Yeah. So, like, rabbits and hares are entirely different and can't interbreed. They they don't even have the same number of um, chromosomes. Mollusks, uh, mollusks are the largest marine phylum, comprising 23% of all named marine organisms. So this includes uh, the snails, the oct octopuses... Uh, clams. Is that Scallops. right? Scallops. Scallops. Then the gastropods, slugs. Sluggy friends. Ooh. <laughs> like the bear cat, which is neither a cat or a bear. Very fancy hair. Well, wasn't the original name for a giraffe a cameleopard? Because it looked a bit like a camel and a leopard. 
That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, yeah, I forgot they got all those little eyes. Very fun. For weird. What? Oh, I, I love scrolling through a Wikipedia article and looking at random words that are highlighted to having their own page. Apparently there's a thing called a Syfuncle. The Syfuncle, which I love their music, love, love some 60s folk, um, is a strand of tissue passing longitudinally through the shell of a cephalopod mollusk. I just like the word Syfuncle. That is a pretty good word. I do, however, always have to wonder about who comes up with these things. <laughs> well, it's, 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 I'm guessing it's based on siphon. Because it probably siphons water or something similar. Um, uh, siphon is used primarily in emptying water from new chambers as the shell grows. Makes sense. Because I know that's something that they sort of have to do, because with how they grow, it sort of spi well, with snails at least, it spirals out. So oh, having something that could empty that makes sense. Speaking of spirals, random mathematical fact that I think is kind of fun, and this is probably only useful to me because I'm British. Um, miles and kilometers. In Britain, we we tend to be stuck between metric and imperial, um, <clears throat> so we have to learn how to convert between the two. And I was always taught in school roughly eight kilometers to every five miles. That was the the little rule of thumb that we were given. <laughs> Simon and Syfuncle, Garth and Syfuncle. Um <clears throat> So yeah, it was like eight eight kilometers to five miles, roughly. Uh, turns out the ratio of kilometers to miles is approximately the golden ratio. Not exactly, but yep. approximately. Nice coincidence. Which means that if you know the Fibonacci sequence, you can use that as a comparison of miles to kilometres, where the miles number will be the one number and the kilometres number will be the next one up. So, for example, 8 miles is about 13 kilometres, or <clears throat> 21 miles is about 34 kilometres, or whatever. Just take two adjacent numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, and it's roughly miles to kilometers yeah it's like nice. a 1.6 ratio between the two it's kind of neat which is where the 5 to 8 one came from because that's all well that's not where it came from it's, it was it's relatively accurate but <laughs> and it's just a nice little coincidence it's handy again if you're the sort of person who has to convert between the two re uh, relatively frequently which again British Anyway, I, this is this is cool. Physical, yeah, cheap. yeah. Huh? I love the hair. Tentacle mm -hmm. hair. It's real good. Uh, I don't know what else I'm doing. <laughs> what was the name again? Saint Mollusk. Mollusk. Saint Mollusk. Oh, yeah, and you got the thing. Oh, that's cool. We're going Catholic iconography here. Also, what um, the heck is up with the picture you shared, Rachel? Is that eyes? Uh, in the <clears throat> scallop there? I think they Yeah, the, the little blue things, the little blue dots are eyeballs. Or... Oh. Oh. Something, something yeah. akin to an eyeball. It's a light-sensitive organ. I hate it. There's clams. The sea is full of weird things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, call calling it an eyeball is... <laughs> it's not like your eyeball... But it serves a similar function. Everything about this picture upsets me. 
for clarification, you're talking about uh, this and not what Jib's drawing, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> what Jib's drawing is real cool. Dog agrees. Yeah. Uh, I, I would just like to point out that uh, I got ready and generated a few more names uh, for the next go round, um, and I'm not going to use this one, but I just wanted to share Commando Algebra. Um, <laughs> That's you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing underwear. Thank you very much. Um, but are you wearing it under or over your pants? <laughs> uh, <it's> under? <laughs> Pretty standard. <laughs> our, li our little family gathering earlier today would have been much more awkward if it was the other way around. <laughs> so what is a commander? Uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> I, always, I always had it as like a kind of generic soldiery thing. What is okay, let's look it up. Uh, all I know is that they're green in South Africa. Um, <laughs> I mean, they might be. Uh, Commander is a combatant or operative of an elite light infantry or special operations force, specially trained for carrying out raids and operating in small teams behind enemy lines. So... There you have your answer. Solid Snake. Solid Snake. So give everything the bandana. Uh, from the perspective of the early modern era, the word stems from the Dutch word commando. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited and then I just... <laughs> I was like, oh, it comes from a Dutch word? That's cool. Oh, it's the same. I mean, of course, it's the fucking it's, same. It, it's not the same. It's spelled with a K. So... Oh, yeah, it would be, I guess. Which you do for everything except credit card, in my experience. Listen. <laughs> although, although you make that one word, so that's fair. Is this Convoys? Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently she's wearing Converse. I am that Converse. wears Converse. That's interesting. Uh, Clammy Converse. Didn't mean to make it Converse, but... That is my standard shoe, so... <laughs> Whoops. This person belongs to a comic or, um... Yeah. Cartoon. Um... I'm, I'm imagining, uh, again, random reference of uh, hmm. Mitchell and Webb. They used to have a sketch, which was Angel Summoner and BMX Bandit, which was this crime-fighting duo. One of them can do sick tricks on a BMX bike and the other one can just summon angels um, and it's just <laughs> always the solution <laughs> not like the other. yeah and it's like the, the BMX one's like oh yeah I'll go in and I'll pop a wheelie and I'll spin around and the other one's like or I could just summon a horde of angels to solve the problem <laughs> so I'm imagining it's the same thing you've got like some sort of crappy little superhero and also Saint Mollusk <laughs> who can <laughs> command the forces of the ocean <laughs> This look they have do uh, look like they are a babysitter of an annoying little rat <laughs> that has way too much power or something. Yeah. Also, hi, scaring the crow. Baba Booey. Baba Booey? Baba Hello. Booey. Baba Booey. I'm creating a, a comic in my head uh, of this <laughs> character chip. <laughs> Good. <laughs> There she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saint yeah. Mollusks. She is Saint here Mollusk. to save the day. Only someone against her will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I did have a thought of like we were talking about the the picture of the clam with all the eyes, right? All the yeah, eyes going around the rim like that, and you have biblically accurate angels with lots of eyes going around the ring. Yes. There's something you could do there. Just saying. Yeah. Anyway. Chris, are you saying clams are biblically accurate angels? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. I'm saying exactly that. They yeah, are just as disgusting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, cool. This is cool. I like this. This is a good one. 
Kelsey Priest chip to makes good characters. Um Yeah, uh once back around again. Uh yeah. I guess Christy, do you have a prompt for me? Yeah. I have munch word. <laughs> munch munch what what? Munch what? W-A-R-D Munch Munchward. Uh Mun munch ward. Someone who ward stops people. Of the munch. So, so, I'm, I'm imagining somebody like in a school who stops kids from eating in the corridors or something. Like, <laughs> uh, no, they're not a ward that's munching. They're munching no, and stopping they, the wards. They ward the munches. Um, how, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you ward munches? Uh, could also be the ultimate muncher. Munch, munch. Like um, um, an elder uh, souls game, kind of. Elder world. souls. Elder souls. I'm an elder soul. Or as they're known, ring likes. <laughs> The game Chris loves with the passion. Uh, I, I could I could take inspiration from this actually, for this. My 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 thought process for this now is that how what better way to stop people munching on things than to munch it before them. <laughs> um, yes. Why would you Why would you eat something somebody else has already partially eaten? You know. Um, so I'm going big on the mouth motif. Mouth. Oh dear, that has the potential to be horrifying. Yeah. Well, given that I've Eldritch mentioned superhero, it's not Eldritch. I mean, this is a superhero team, so we need one horrifying oh, it's a team. being of the beyond. <laughs> it's a team now. Don't ask, don't ask me to draw a horrifying being of beyond. I'll draw Congulus again. <laughs> no one wants that. I, I Congulus like how isn't the superhero, Chris. <laughs> I I like how with this statement of though this is a superhero team now means that the passed out drunk that Christy drew and the poodle that I drew <laughs> are legitimately on a superhero team. Yes. <laughs> like someone decided, yes, we want to work with this person on our on our group project. Listen, sometimes you gotta take any superhero you can find. <laughs> and usually the, like, the quote-unquote superheroes that you look at in comics and go, like, this is just a dog. Those are usually crazy strong for some ungodly reason. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there, there is. So, do you guys know Green Lantern? Vaguely, I know all of it. Vaguely. So, with with Green Lantern, you've got the Green Lantern corpse, and the basic idea is the these oh, rings cool. of power are sort of universe wide, and you've got a, like an individual or two in various solar systems that have the Green Lantern for keeping things stable. Um, but Green is not the only color, uh, and green lanterns are not the only lantern type. Uh, so you also, and each lantern type is sort of powered by a different sort of thing. Green being powered by will. There is another one, however, it's a red lantern that is powered by uh, anger and rage. And one of the more powerful red lanterns is a cat from Earth. Nice. <laughs> Yay. Hey, miss, I found a comic you might like. <laughs> and I think at one point it was potentially played for laughs, but uh, uh, be careful if you look up his origin story. Uh, it it's sad. Oh no, sad cat. <laughs> I love this guy. He feels very like uh old cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, uh, Bear, there. I don't think there's a pink lantern, but there is a... No, wait, no, it is pink. Is it? Shoot. Yeah, no, it's pink. Um, it there There is a lantern type. There is a ring type that is powered by love. Uh, however, they get a little obsessive. It's not necessarily a great ring to hold on to. When you said pink lantern in things, my first thought was of, um, what is it? It's like the pink kryptonite for Superman, and what it does it is it turns Superman gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is canon, by the way. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> saying that Already. in superhero comics doesn't mean much. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that that is a thing of like I I saw it on I'm um, actually one, so I got the context of that, and I was just Wait, it's, is it's wild. Real? It is real. Oh, yes. I thought you were being like no, no, I was not. It, it's no. a real thing. Pink, <laughs> pink kryptonite was a thing. Kryptonite doesn't comes in a bunch of the different colors and does a bunch of different stuff to Superman. Um, you know, like how he's weak to the green kryptonite and the pink one turns him gay. <laughs> I, I do like the idea that that exists and like somebody tries to use it in a battle and literally nothing changes but he's gay now. It's just, I think it, that's, that's it. what it happens. <laughs> yeah, I think that's well, like... I, I think... Or at least so, in a more uh, modern version of it. it does yeah, that. in... <laughs> As with all things, that sort of changes from, like, version to version, but there is at least one more modern version where the pink kryptonite uh, turned him into a woman, and he just kind of went, okay, whatever, and then continued to punch out the person. Yeah. <laughs> this has changed <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Chris, I hate this. You're welcome. It's a little bit <laughs> horrifying. But also, I still still feel like it's could be, like, an enemy in Cuphead somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's got that kind of vibe to it. <laughs> you don't You know, that. now that you've put in the tummy mouth, I get the feeling that the thing on top is just, like, a, a potato sack <laughs> that they've yeah. stuck on there on top of themselves. No, it's like that's a mimicky his, situation. That's his actual head. This is Brian. He works in accounts. Mm -hmm. um, They're not actually a sure. <laughs> They have a hell of a time hiding this at lunch. Um. <laughs> oh, so the head is real, but the mouth is not. <laughs> yeah, that's drawn on. <laughs> Wearing converses. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's their own superhero <laughs> shoe. Look. They are sponsors. <laughs> yeah, so superhero teams aren't cheap. They need sponsors. <laughs> mm -hmm. And a lot of the good yeah. sponsors are gone. So... <laughs> I'm also going for the big old class. Oh, oh, I was hiding this hand behind the waist that now no longer exists. Um... <laughs> So, whoops. Now you have to draw us. <laughs> Classic rookie error there. <laughs> How many times you, have you, you have drawn made something? a decision? Pa past you made a decision, and now future you has to deal with it. Oh, that's basically my life. I, um. <laughs> I don't like the implication that he's like resting his fist on his teeth. <laughs> Slightly uncomfortable to think about. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's they're strong enough. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, they're... that's not my issue here. But okay. Yeah, yeah, just... Um. Also, I don't know exactly know what's going on with the costume. What what is and what isn't. Uh... I imagine. I mean, I mean all I'm... latex <laughs> we... over latex. <laughs> if if I'm we're using the of... lines that exist, like uh, it's gonna be like. Uh. I'm wondering where the hinge is because right now you've drawn you've drawn the teeth going as far away around as we can see. So like, does it go all, all the way around? Don't worry. Or is there like a back of the mouth somewhere in here? 
It's a I'm cheap, glad he has a tip. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad he wears a classically feminine superhero costume. I was thinking gorilla. <laughs> also that. Also, it kind of implies that the the mask is going over the little nose, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Oh god, that's gonna be just so awkward if he sneezes. <laughs> Oh god, that's... Don't worry, the nose isn't real. The real one's on the back. Uh... What is real? <laughs> Do you know what's real? Converses. Mess. Bye now. <laughs> the um, superhero doll um, attaches in the middle, weirdly enough. Yeah. It didn't sell well. Though. Like Kinder Egg. <laughs> like it... I mean, if I... If you don't ask me to sit down and try and work out a good description of this, like a kinder egg, would take me a while to get to, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it would happen. <laughs> also, Oobs hates this for some reason. Why? They just I couldn't it. imagine <laughs> why. <laughs> just America imagine all of the so if they ever got braces. <laughs> uh, yes. The mind of the dentist had to be wiped afterwards um, just for their own sake, really. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's the, the sound that the mind wiper makes. <laughs> <laughs> just look into this into this thing and then yeah. just <laughs> some, somebody can somebody overdub, overdub men in black that'd be great <laughs> uh, that would be a funny thing for every time they do the click it's just well I drew this <laughs> you did this Yes, you certainly did. Yes. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. It's now time for Christy to draw something better. Uh. Um... With a ragdoll prompt. If yes. I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> uh. Let's see. What? What did I miss in chat? So I have for you Princess Schnitzel. <laughs> Princess Schnitzel. Let's just um oops. <laughs> Princess Schnitzel is very German. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like schnitzel feels is, I, I can't speak for anywhere else, but schnitzel is one of those words where if in the United States, if you're trying to be either silly or mildly racist involving German heritage, schnitzel is the word that'll come up. I have a feeling half the people who say it don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not the thing here, because... You know, we're very close to Germany, so we eat schnitzel too. Why not? It's it's very delicious. I would yeah. recommend it. Um, though the Germans make really large ones. They're so big. They're so big. <laughs> and they're always covered in sauce, and I don't really like sauce. <laughs> I don't like listening to this while also reading Bear and Oob's talk about writing intense porn. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about it. Their, their schnitzel's so big and it's always covered in sauce. Don't. Um, <laughs> I am not part of this conversation. <laughs> Let him. Also, I'd be very concerned. <laughs> oh my god! I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. She is Princess Schnitzel. Princess she Schnitzel. She is angry. <laughs> Probably because you took her schnitzel. Yeah. 
No uh, one take the schnitzel from Princess Schnitzel. Do not take. <laughs> like that's her lunch. Don't steal people's lunch. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you touch the schnitzel? It's her it's it's her heritage. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dago has taken my right hand. <laughs> so um, you're left ha left handed no pen. <laughs> yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing, to be fair. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Admit, you look at Princess Schnitzel. She's so pretty. There you go. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> rada rada, huh? It's Schnitzel from Chowder. Okay. <laughs> she is very. She is Smith. She is so pretty. E. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> I I would I would definitely say that she's pretty to her face. <laughs> yes, because otherwise she's going to give you a pounding like you do to the meat before you turn it into schnitzel. We're, yeah. I'm, they're still talking about porn in chat. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. It's meat Stop that's pounding been the schnitzel. pounded with a meat tenderizer, breaded and then fried. Yes, yes. If your schnitzel looks like a euphemism, that's on you. Because <laughs> schnitzel is, doesn't look anything like anything that would be vaguely euphemistic. Look, uh, this is, we're talking about the internet here. That's Everything on you, is a Chris. That's your mind. Why do you think of this? Because I'm when asexual. I don't know anything about this world. <laughs> Have you never had schnitzel? I, I really was wondering where that sentence was going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very inappropriate question to ask on a stream. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I could also ask, have you ever had a pounding? But I don't think that would go over well. Can confidently say my schnitzel has never had a pounding. <laughs> But have you ever had schnitzel? Not personally, no. Um, Chris! What? what oh. <laughs> I, I'm not neighbours with Germany, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, I am disappointed in the English cuisine. You've tried our bread, of course you are. <laughs> I say this as a Dutch person with the worst, <laughs> with as a very picky eater, and also a Dutch person who cannot eat very well. So <laughs> you have the worst. What do you eat? <laughs> uh, gravy mostly. <laughs> <Is> that gravy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I got a little ruffles. It's a they have it's... gravy, but they don't have biscuits in gravy. No. Why would you put biscuits in gravy? Oh, yeah, biscuits in it. Why would you put a scone in gravy? <laughs> Y'all need to come together about biscuits and uh, chips. You need to come over and get <laughs> schnitzel. I mean, the, the biscuits that you put in gravy aren't really, like, sweet, sweet. They're like a savoury scone, right? See, Bear yeah. has had schnitzel in Australia, so if it's there, it's everywhere. That's my logic. In Australia, it'll be... I have had things le that are similar to schnitzel, because in the United States, we've got this thing called chicken fried steak, which is sort of of the same vein as schnitzel, just a little more specific. I I guess. You yeah. need to come up. <laughs> I I did already sort of uh, I I did mumble this under my breath and it's not really worth repeating but I I do want to emphasize I I tried to make a joke of like oh in Australia it's called and then say the word backwards but I do like the fact that schnitzel backwards is l l stinch. 
It just sounds fun. <laughs> That's tough. Uh, yeah, villain. Lestinch. Lestinch. That's a great adventure. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's Princess Snitchell's mirror verse counterpart. <laughs> Who incidentally is from Australia. The Schnitzel goes on the sauce. I mean personally I'm a no sauce person, but you know, I do know that people like to take sauce with it. Uh, Especially in Germans. Germans drown everything in sauce. Don't go in eat in Germany. <laughs> Look, look well, again, Britain, we don't put any flavour in our food, we just smother everything in sauce. <laughs> so, that's what we do. Go eat in German and ask without sauce, and everyone will look at you weird, but at least <laughs> you'll get good meat. <laughs> stop. Stop. Okay, um... <laughs> Yay! So, it's, it's this... I like Princess Schnitzel. Princess Schnitzel's good! But, and now we have to do something else, which is sad, but good! I'm glad you agree, Oops. I don't know what you agreed with, but I'm glad you agree. Uh, as long as it makes you good oh, game, I mean... Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Because yeah, that's that, a sort of a gravy fine. sort of thing. And you can have applesauce with it, that's also fine. On it is a matter of preferences, but with it is fine. <laughs> uh, Chip, have prompt for Ragdoll. Oh, I prompt. I, yes. Sausage and potatoes in applesauce? I've never had. <laughs> then again, I don't like mixing sweet and. Oh no, there's so many good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I generated only five. <laughs> I like them all. Oh no. But um I saw this one first and it made me smile. So Ragdoll, will you please draw for me Whip Hippo? <laughs> what? Whippo. Whip Hippo. A whip hippo. Whip hippo. Whip hippo. <laughs> so it's 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 Grandma Bonk, but with a different weapon. <laughs> Grandma hey, Whip. Whippo. Whippo. It sounds like an animal crossing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going back to horny. Well, drown your sausage and potatoes in applesauce. Yeah, not me, but I get it. <laughs> but applesauce is nice. By the way, you kept talking about not being a proper Dutch person because you don't like... Um, Dutch foods. Um, I don't like the way a lot of things are eaten. I am I'm generally a very picky person. <laughs> Me too. But I'm not a proper Dane because I don't like pickled herring. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> uh, I say that as a Dutch person and one of our delicacies eating like, you know, uh, uh, eating the raw herring, like, you know, just shove it straight down your gullet. Um, oh. Don't see the appeal to, of it, to be honest. Mm. Me either. I said that because yeah, we did it at Easter, so I was reminded. Pickled herring. Right, it's gross. They will die on the hill. Thank you. I know it's so gross. I don't like. I just don't love the idea of shoving a raw fish straight down my gullet hole. In general, so no sushi for cheap then. Um, no. <laughs> Not. I mean, I'd be more willing to try that than uh, shoving hair <laughs> right down my gullet all. I think it's, it's not the same, because sushi is prepared. <laughs> At least. It's not literally a raw fish that you, like, slowly dip down your throat and eat that oh. one. Oh, so so it's not just raw fish meat, it's raw fish fish. Um, it's a 
thing we do in the Netherlands where it's just raw fish <laughs> fish <laughs> that we oh, eat. That's it. As Oob like says, you, you just... <laughs> and you dip it down your gullet hole. I yeah, don't you, you... know how to explain to you. Oh, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm not even showing that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I mean, if you've got something really small like a sardine, I could see being able to fit the whole fish in it's your mouth. It's herring. But it's always herring. In, in general, I'm looking at that, and my first thought is... Your throat's gonna get all screwed up by the like b the bones, like. Uh, I think generally they do take the bones out of it. <laughs> okay, well, there's that at least, but. But <laughs> it. Like, I still don't big. find it a pleasant idea. <laughs> <laughs> Swords falling, but with swordfish. <laughs> yeah, essentially. At least it's not pickled. Yeah, herring just comes out of a jar and you just seagull it, yeah. <laughs> Mess, no! Stop with... no! <laughs> We're talking about eating food! <laughs> it, it's... it's not my favourite... It Again, why I'm not a good Dutch person, because this is a thing that Dutch people do, as in it's so famous they will encourage tourists to try it out as part of the Dutch experience. <laughs> no, nope, no, I'm never going. <laughs> this feels like one of those things where, I don't know, to me this feels like something that started as a prank. No. <laughs> and it's like, let's just prank all the tourists with this? No, there's like, at like I think most, if not every fish stand in the Netherlands, you can uh, like buy herring and eat it that way. And it's meant to be eaten that way. You're an Aussie that doesn't drink. I'm, just, I'm a Brit that doesn't drink tea. But any only mode. Look, miss, if it helps, I've been trying to generate a good name for my next prompt, and in that time I have managed to find Spank Hammer and Lady Spandex. <laughs> like Love that. This is just this is not <laughs> this is not a good day for terms of service. <laughs> um <laughs> It's fine, just you know, it's censor default with <laughs> <laughs> just constantly. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stick it. To stick the audio file into something that can sort of read amplitude, and just every time there's a peak of amplitude, just <laughs> output a duck quack of equal <laughs> amplitude, and replace the entire audio of this vod with quacks. I mean, of course, man, it doesn't look deep fried. Hmm? Oobs is a genuinely yeah, good work. Belgian. Nice. Good for you. But you're not crazy about chocolate. Well, that, of course you're not a good Belgian, then. <laughs> but are you crazy about waffles? If you're not crazy about waffles, then you're not a Belgian. Sorry, not a good Belgian. You are a Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not a Belgian. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> are, are Belgian waffles from Belgium? They are pretty famous. I yeah. I hate to break it to you. Uh, <laughs> there were some well, okay. clues. <laughs> you say that, but there is a thing called German chocolate cake, and it is not from Germany. Yeah, but that's your uh, version of it. Belgian waffles are... Well, there is at least one type of Belgian waffles that is generally from Belgium, which I don't know if that's the one you guys have, but... <laughs> Also, as far as I'm aware, French fries are not from France. So just because the name of a country is in the name doesn't mean anything over here. <laughs> no. But that's oh, yeah. English as a language. That's yeah. you you guys make things weird. <laughs> but Belgium waffles are from Belgium. You guys have and an also... obsession <laughs> with France. And also with your French fries and your French toasts. <laughs> Neither of them are French. <laughs> And uh, and also French stick, which apparently only I know. <laughs> What's French stick? 
It's a specific type of baguette. <laughs> and I can find literally nowhere online that explains this. I think it's just my family. <laughs> you mean a baguette? A specific type of baguette. <laughs> From the region of stick, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's the the, the steak uh, <laughs> villages of southern France. I don't know. <laughs> the regional differences for Belgium. I mean, I, one I, thing... I feel like if if you've got to the point where there are regional differences, you can accept that that is your thing. <laughs> yeah. Also, one thing that's very Belgium to me as a Dutch person is a specific. The way you guys make fries, <laughs> it's it's very in like the the little pointy bag. That's very Belgian, and I don't think the others will get one <laughs> with that. Pointy bag? We we sell chips in a cone of newspaper. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the it's a specific like cone bag for fries. Uh, and a lot of the Belgians really are famous for it in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have like very thick fries as well. That's Belgium fries. This very, is sounding very, very similar to the chips that you buy from a fish and chip shop here. <laughs> no, but they're Belgium though. I, you don't I get it, Chris. I understand the locational <laughs> difference. I'm trying to understand the substance difference. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> they're Belgian fries. <laughs> like they appear to come with a sauce? That's different. Yeah, of course they come with the sauce. What do you mean, of they course? Come with... <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that's part of it. It's I, I don't particularly like that about it, but it is a thing of you have the pointy bag, the cone bag, <laughs> with fries, and then they put a bunch of <laughs> fry sauce at the top of it, like just a little... Uh, squash of it, just like, whoop. Right on it, and then you uh, can eat um, and get mayonnaise every fucking where. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this looks from from what I can see. Apart from just randomly dolloping a big lump of sauce on top, this is just fish and chip chippy chips. But <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, this is the point. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, I also need to go to Belgium and try their chips. Yes. <laughs> Why does it come from Africa? Because it's Whip Hippo. It's Whip Hippo. <laughs> whip Hippo. Right. And it ignored bears' fetishes in chat. Um. <laughs> also, yes, Ovi Bola are very Belgian Dutch. I will agree to that. <laughs> I, I don't know how to draw hippo heads from <laughs> this angle. I'm you realizing. Or, I, I, I like her because it looked like a. Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of hippo have a mustache? You know. I mean, right now it just—it looks like a weird teddy bear. But I think if yeah, at, at this angle, I'm not quite sure to get the 3D snout to work. It's it's tricky. It I'm getting terrible. I've, one of the names I just generated was vanilla slice. That's just a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a wrapper. <laughs> Alright, well, here's the whip, hippo. Whippo! Whippo! They're, they're gonna do Whippo. that um, Indiana Jones thing. And use the whip for various things. Yeah. Whippo! Yeah! Perfect. E. Also, one of my generated names is Accountantatron. <laughs> One of the ones that uh, came up for me was Lord Opossum. <laughs> <laughs> this one shot Dodo. <laughs> Someone just shot a Dodo. Um. <laughs> so, reality. <laughs> Miss Disoriented. Anyway, I should probably actually give a prompt to uh, Jeeb. Let's find a good mm. one. Yeah. Give me a good one. Give uh, me. Can you draw for me 
Yeah, uh, Gotham's. Well, it doesn't have to be Gotham. What are, what are other places? Superhero places. Uh, New York City. The New <laughs> Metropolis, n- New Acropolop. I'm um, trying to think of Acropolop. like <laughs> trying to think like which one is the one from Superman and which one is the one from Mega Minds, and am I thinking <laughs> of the one from Mega Minds? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Metropolis is the one from Superman. Right, Metropolis. I thought that was the black and white film. Yeah, and then we've got Sans Fran Tokyo from the uh, Big Hero what? 6 movie. And San TV Fran show? So I'm pretty sure there was a TV show afterwards. I think in Mega Mind, it's... I believe it's Metro City. And then Mega Mind keeps saying it wrong as Metrocity. Because <laughs> that's his thing. Chris, have you ever watched Mega Mind? What do you think? <laughs> Put it on the list immediately. Put it on the list. Mega Mind is great. <laughs> Put it at the top of the list. Scroll on the other ones. Put it at the top of the list. I'm watching I that one first. I love Mega Mind. Uh, uh, okay, Jeep, I'm going to give you a choice. Do you want to right. draw the one I want you to draw or the one you want to draw? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That gives me nothing. I, it gives you a choice. I can't make choices, Chris, with my brain. <laughs> the Drop one you want them to draw, but that sounds the funniest. Okie dokie, can you draw Cheezatron? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can I? <laughs> Alternatively, you can also draw their sidekick, Smash Gecko. <laughs> so. <laughs> Smash Gecko. Also, for you Those said she's both... a Tron on my first. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to ask was, can I draw you? <laughs> I, 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 I get the cheese bit. I don't think I'm a robot. <laughs> as far as you're aware. It was a, I think earlier we established that I was a potato. <laughs> So. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. Cheesy okay. mashed potato. Mm. Uh, little tread wheels. I am now remembering something else from Mitchell and Webb now, which is a robot that detects cheese. <laughs> yeah. Cheese. Petrol. When's me day Wensley there. Robots. Portal Potato. Will we see Portal Potato next week? Not next week. Week after next. Maybe. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> That's why I was asking, really. She is a tron. Also so, on the list here was Tea Thing. Teeth? T- tea Thing. <laughs> oh. A thing made of tea. <laughs> oh, teeth. How That's very the- descriptive. Yeah. <laughs> tea made I mean, all tea. things considered, Tea Thing might just be the British version of the thing. <laughs> thing? <laughs> Not Northern Thing. I'm gonna go watch that film, t- Thing. <laughs> Do you think, aka Bear? Maybe. Uh, there was all, one of the other ones I found while I was scrolling through was Hoopty Demon. And I I believe a Hoopty is like a, a crap old car or something. Uh, and I I just re- imagined that Good Omens bit with the Crowley's car on fire. <laughs> I just generated cure fart. <laughs> That's a lot of fart. Fart crops up quite a lot in this thing. <laughs> first one I got. And also the first doodler. Mm-hmm. So we can't get an assist in here. <laughs> Sp- 
sponge <laughs> redneck. I don't sponge know why. redneck. <laughs> I like the gloves. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to like go with this like <laughs> posture drill. <bro. laughs> it's a little bit strange. Ew, I don't want it to. I, I like. I quite like the idea. The way the gloves are hanging, I quite like the idea. There's no hands in there. It's just floppy gloves on the end of like <laughs> little tubes. Yeah, now the question is: Is this piloted by a mouse? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yes. Mousely. Oh, yes, that's the thing. Mouseledale. <laughs> Mouseledale. I am sad there's no more Wallace and Gromit games. Well, maybe in the future, who knows? There's gotta be like some old CD ROM um, oh, Wallace yeah. and Gromit games, right? Probably. Almost. Like, they, mean, they don't work probably. anymore. But <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's. Well, we'll some Grump Gam. Let's let's see what's available in the world. Uh... There's a Wikipedia page for Grand Adventures. Mm. That's not what I'm here for. We've played those. TV. Other media, video game, list of video. Oh bloody hell, there's loads. Um, <laughs> the Wallace and Gromit Fun Pack from 1996. That's definitely it. Yes. Sounds Wallace perfect. and Gromit, Wallace and Gromit Cracking Animator. I think I've seen that. <laughs> you make like little like old games where you could make a little quote unquote animation. Yeah, <laughs> with like just specific little, not even PNGs, just like. <laughs> Things you could just move around and. Yeah. What is what? It was a platformer, apparently <laughs> called Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. Naturally. The PS2 Curse of the Were Rabbit that had a tie-in game. Uh, then all the Grand Adventures ones, the big fix-up for iOS. Oh. And the Grand Getaway. From this year? <laughs> what? For VR? <laughs> a VR Wallace and Gromit game, oh my god. Apparently. <laughs> That's horrifying. You turn what into plasticine yourself. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm looking this up. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Wallace and Gromit, the grand getaway. Uh, is it not out yet? Or... Well, I mean, if it's with this year as the date, there's still multiple months for it to come out if it's supposed to be a, yeah. this year release. Most of the year hasn't happened yet. This is a very <laughs> good mouse in a chair. Mm. Never, never thought I'd see Wallace wearing a VR headset. <laughs> that is a little bit weird. <laughs> well, I could imagine him. I could imagine him having invented one, and it would be covered in weird bolts and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like steam powered. But yeah, look at the mouse with the eye patch and the tiniest little feetsy. <gasps> ah, the little foots. On little footsy. Little foots. I'm gonna zoom in on little foots because it's good. <laughs> Look at the little foots. Look at little foots. Anyway, this is Cheese Atron. Cheese Atron! It has that ro robot voice. That's hard to say. Yeah, it, it does. It's like robot voice and then. You know, at one point, like the speaker goes out and it's just a tiny little, <laughs> tiny little mouse voice. <laughs> oh. I am Cheese or Tron. I am exactly. <laughs> and you can't even pretend it's a mouse hiding behind the curtain because they're very clearly exposed in that dome. 
<laughs> yeah. They think they look very menacing. Yeah. They don't they even do. Catch. Oh shit. <gasps> Someone thought they were the cheese. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> this is cheesy troll. <laughs> Sorry, I need to stop up stop looking up Wallace and Gromit games. Um <clears throat> Cheers, Tron! Got the sort mm -hmm. of Metaton style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, Metaton is my number one. That's fair. Reference for anything robotic. <laughs> I will, That's I'll play... true for both forms of Metatron. <laughs> That's, we could have ended up with a very different looking Cheers, Tron. That's all I'm saying. Um... <laughs> Yeah, metal. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put I'll play Metal Crusher at the end of the stream. He's um, from Undertale. It's from the Undertales. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Steal cheese. Huh? <laughs> oh, eat cheese. Uh, Oops, got there first. <laughs> Apparently, Pinky and the Brains designs were based off of a couple of animators at Warner Brothers, and I don't even mean it as a "oh, we're we're drawing a caricature, haha, make fun of them good naturedly." No, they, they there are pictures of them where it's like, "Oh, you literally just put mouse ears on this person." Okay. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. Internet, show me these people. Stotato. Uh, it's not showing me these people, and I'm not going to search anymore. Um, e, I will see it's if a I thing. Can find these people. Uh, do do we uh, are we going to stop there, or are we going to do one all together? I'm um, looking at Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> <laughs> we fair. can do one all together. If we, it's all quick. Do one? we can do okay, real quick. He says. Oh shit. <laughs> smash Gecko. No, <laughs> that opportunity's passed. <laughs> no more Smash Gecko. That's Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> What's with these names? <laughs> I don't want to give this one, but I do want to say it out loud because it's really funny. <laughs> but when I got a stinker sore. <laughs> Stinker sour? What? <laughs> Stinker sour, like dinosaur. Oh, sour. Oh, sour. Okay. So I, th I thought I thought it was like czar, like the czar <laughs> of stink. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I guess we will give prompts to the people we haven't yet given prompts to. So <laughs> Ragdoll and I will give each other prompts, and Christy and Jib will give each other prompts. Yeah, I got the perfect one for the end of the stream. <laughs> For this stream in particular. <laughs> okay, uh, Ragdoll. Um, can you draw Ducko? <laughs> Ducko. Ducko. Like Stucko, but with Duck. <laughs> Where did my glove go? Who am I getting to? Uh, Christy. Christy, Christy, can you in in with the theme? I'm going with the theme. Can you please draw for me Hex Duck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Miss. Um. So I'm giving to. Jeeb. Oh, then, yeah. For revenge. Uh, you have Strawberry Damon. <laughs> Damon. <What? laughs> Stra strawberry? Matt Berry? Does it Matt Damon, but strawberries? <laughs> oh, Demon. Stra Damon. Strawberry Demon. Damon. Damon, Demon. Yeah, okay. And last but not least, 
The name I have here is the Flying Flop. <laughs> <laughs> the Flying Flop. This is the second week in a row I'm just going to draw a flying manta ray. Well, I'm not going to. I didn't draw the first one. Um. Flop. Flying flop. flop. What's, a, what's a flop? <laughs> also, I found an image of the two... <clears throat> Gentlemen that Pinky and the Brain are based off of, with Pinky and the Brain. Oh yeah, I see that. <laughs> so those are two, and I don't remember if they were animators, producers, or probably both. Uh, <clears throat> Eddie Fitzgerald and Tim Tom Minton. And they just. Sort of turned them into mice. <clears throat> For some reason, my brain immediately went to like a very extreme pose. For <laughs> And now it goes quiet. Yeah, as we all sit here and try and figure out what to do with these names. <laughs> yes, there's that. <clears throat> we now have more noise toys. Noise toys. <laughs> Want me to sing Pinky and the Brain to you, Crimps? It's fine, thank you. I'm alright. I know how the song goes. <laughs> <laughs> but do you? Or are you just saying this? Yes. <laughs> but I'd hate for your stream to be too quiet at the end. It's fine, Miss. Don't worry about it. I mean, one of us could just open the soundboard and just continuously. <laughs> could you set up hotkeys? I think that'd be useful. Uh... Also, any if you've got any suggestions for uh, sounds to add to that. Now, it does look like it is... <clears throat> um server like the server area is server specific so i don't know if any sounds you add into this one would be in the other discord oh yeah probably not not indeed but, but i also don't know if other people would have permission to add sounds with the other discord so on game days it might be a oh look we now have even more noises to annoy chris with <laughs> <laughs> hey I'm, I'm i'm a mod there i'll know i won't you want no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, accurate, <laughs> but Uh, I'd just like to warn in advance that this drawing doesn't really make any structural sense, so... I mean, same. I mean, superheroes. I oh yeah, that's what we're drawing. Goats. <laughs> superheroes don't really have to make structural <laughs> sense. Oh, 
I was like, I, I can come up with a cool demon design and I've come up with goats. <laughs> so, you know. Hey, it's, it's it's worked as a good demon design for many hundreds of years. <laughs> Why stop now? But it's too cute. <laughs> That's way too wide. <clears throat> Fine, I'm leaning into the cute. <laughs> Yay! Give in to the cute side. Hey, Crimps. What did the pancake say to the baseball player? I... I don't know what, what, what did they? Batter up. Ah. Sorry, I <laughs> mismade a joke. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I've already abandoned my proprietary badum <laughs> in exchange for the Discord one. I mean, it's just bastard. You, you, you're, you're, the the one you. in your bot is still useful for cases where you're not on Discord, so. True. And also for having people activate it who are not on Discord. <clears throat> now on all of my streams, I will do while in a Discord chat. I mean, you could. I know there are plenty of like reactive and PNG tubers and VTubers that make use of Discord call stuff, so <clears throat> it is a thing. It's sometimes not worth it, because that means that's just one more thing running on your computer. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I'm sorry for it my wasn't me joke. this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss. I appreciated it. Apologies that that secondary joke came along while we were all screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, go away. I'd love to be body slammed by pancakes RN. <laughs> I'm very interested by the word uh body slammed there hazel <laughs> <laughs> classic body slammed really body body slammed Slammed. Okay, no, no, Hazel can say slammed, just not body slammed. Well, I think that's as good as it's going to get for me. Uh, same. Uh, Need to get this tail shape in. Yeah, sure, I can be done. Well, Ragdoll still needs to do a tail, so. Uh, a massive just, rush. 
<clears throat> I had just been working on getting the body in a spot where I could work more with it. The main thing it needs is the tail. How did you uh, do this that? domino mask just looks horrifying, all things considered. But you know that sort of works. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. There we go. Right, cool, yes. Reveals are happening, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is this a stack of pancakes? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Christy, a did you throw that all with your finger? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Thank you. I know exactly who that is supposed to be mirroring. Yeah. You do. I also know her. Yeah, it was a special one for you, Cheap. Yay. Thank And I figured uh, out what it, what they were called in Dutch now too. Ooh. Oh, and English. Hex duck. Matty <laughs> can spell apparently. Uh, I don't know what she's called in English, but in Dutch she is called um, Magica. Ah. Magic. I didn't have to say it and. Uh, Say it wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Is this Zwarte Magica? Yeah, Zwarte mm. Magica. Mm. Black magic. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I know. I want to say her name starts with an M in English. It's been a while. Hold on. Uh, Magica Dispel. Magica. Yeah, there we go. Magica Dispel. Yeah, so it's oh, probably like spelled the same, but we pronounce it yeah. differently because we have a soft G. <laughs> Magica. Which kind of sounds like somebody saying Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say there's another... I'll be Mexico. <laughs> I want to say there's another magic, magic lady duck, but I want to say that's in Darkwing Duck. <gasps> Darkwing Duck is amazing. There are a lot yeah, of like... cartoon ducks on there. I identify I'm... with their little uh, pigtails uh, ducks so much. Morgana, oh. Oobs is suggesting? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, yeah. The entire city of ducks. And... Well, I think I'm they're all technically with... in the same universe. Mm. So, like, DuckTales Probably. and Darkwing Duck I'm are in the same universe. Yeah. What about Count Duck Killer? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, cool. Um, we also have have yet to mention our strawberry demon here. It was very cute. Very cute. With the big eyes and the bows and the leotard and the bloody hands. Very cute. <laughs> it's jam, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it's jam. Strawberry jam. The window's locked. Uh, <laughs> worth a try. Um, <laughs> always worth a try to always get worth a jam. <laughs> jammed. Jam. <laughs> Jammed. Jammed. <laughs> <laughs> The pose is so magical, girl, Chip. Hey. Yeah. The little tail as well. That's cool. I also love that the two ducks at the bottom. <laughs> uh, mine should have been reversed, then they would have been fighting. No, no. I, I, it looks like yours is like ushering Ducko. It's like, it's this way. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah summon this like, demon ah. duck from the nether and it's like, no, go, my minion. Go get the lucky coin. I like yours, for instance, <laughs> smack of pancakes with a little cute. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it was recognizable. I realized after doing it, it's like, how on earth do you actually draw 
a floppy stack of pancakes in like this. perspective yep. like that. The, the, those do not look like circles. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like that. It is also it's... going to kill that person. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, that very soft. Is dead. <laughs> Actually, this I mean... tra depending on the tra trajectory, they might end up in the mouth, so they'll be fine. <laughs> they're still going to be spotted by pancakes. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, um... Was it Buster Keaton? Classic silent film thing where they're building the house or whatever and they walk out and then the front of the house just falls down and they they happen to be standing exactly where the window um, is so it just falls through them. I know which well, one you're talking about, yeah. I've seen like that, that but with a pancake mouth. <laughs> also, question. Does... Is, is the face for the entire stack of pancakes? Or just for the one at the bottom? <laughs> Don't ask. Uh, don't want to know. I, I I guess it just goes all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the mouth of the last guy. Um. Yeah, I guess the question is: Is this multiple entities that are stacked together, or is this entire stack one entity? Yeah, it's it's like a stick of rock, right? Mm -hmm. Where it just goes all the way through. Anyway. Actually, is that is that a thing? Is the stick of rock? I don't know. I don't know what that is. No, that might just be a British thing. It's like Do a, a British thing. <laughs> it's like a kind of uh, sweet sort of candy stick thing, but they, it's done in sort of strips and just sort of stuck together in a big cylinder. So if you just cut it in the middle, it looks exactly the same in the cross section. So you can write a message all the way through. If you wanted to, and it would say the same thing if you snapped. I, so I'm going to get a picture. Oh, so that... like um, traditional candies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pouch um, stack in Danish. Yeah, black pull rock is usually I... referred to. Don't hold on. I'm googling. Here's here's just a picture of one with a message in the middle, which says black pull rock, and basically wherever you snap it, it will say that because it's just thin strips going all the way through. Uh, I've seen this before. I don't know what they're called in Dutch. Good. Mm. Oh. Not Oh, it might be. Uh, no. Surestock <laughs> might be the thing. <laughs> I, I love Surestock. Yeah, I I think that's the same thing. I don't know. I've never had these. I, lo I love. I found one in Marmite. Yeah, it's your stock. Marmite? Chili? This is the first thing that popped up for me. Who is ruining sticks of rock by adding Marmite to them? What? And <laughs> nonsense. And... Mm. <coughs> I don't agree. But I, I did find one here, which it's, it's supposed to say Hastings, which is the seaside town and or invasion site. Um, <laughs> but, but it's slightly I mean... wonky. It's slightly wobbly and wonky, and the eye is really thick, so it actually looks like it says Haystongs. And I, I just, I like Haystongs. <laughs> they do stonks. It's also the name of a character in Poirot, and that's neither here nor there. I mean, um, to me, just looking at what Christy posted, that just looks like a bunch of um, peppermint sticks of various flavors. Yeah, they're not peppermint. Um, <laughs> well, they can be, I guess, but. Yeah, it, it, the attraction is that you can have a message going all the way through, like you, they sell ones with like people's names and all that yeah. sort of stuff. I think they're called Surstocker in Dutch, which nice. Chris will probably be able to translate. <laughs> no, <Nope>. anyway. <laughs> it's just sour sticks. I've I've learned neither the word for sour nor stick, so... <laughs> I thought you had learned your, your tastes. <laughs> nope, no. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, now you know sour. It's now I zero. know zero. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know any other flavor. I could just describe everything as sour. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> everything is mildly sour. <laughs> as far as I know, in the Netherlands, everything is sour and it's always raining. That's all I know. <laughs> Good. And everyone wears clogs. I mean, that's not accurate, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's just what I've been taught. The owl knows all. We know this. They're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, tradition. 
And you've got your night scene, so that's gonna cover yeah. everything. <laughs> MK is jumping out of the potato. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna belly flop onto the potato. Look at this team of super. <laughs> Look at this blob of everything. Also, with how things are placed, it looks like um, Magica is fighting Chris's cat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> And I can still see, I can still see the the beautiful face of the princess peering through. Princess <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and crown. As well, they deserve. Anyway, that's that was a stream, and a lovely one it was too. Um, we will be back, or I'll be back. On Tuesday with the Himmons. Himmons. Uh, the Himmons. Himmons dose. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duck egg. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> Turns out. Um, I oh, mean, can't was... you get little little rubber ducks in those games? You can explosive ones. In fact, I unlocked one with a little red tie. Um. Oh no, well, you, yeah, you get that. You get that by default. I unlocked one with a suit. Um. But yeah, so yeah, we'll do we'll do ducks. Why not? But I did also find out that yes, I was correct. The area with the party quack. The area with the party was uh, uh, full of copyrighted music. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, luckily, there were no restrictions added to the vod, so it should be fine. But it's there. Um, you'd be watching from Australia at two a.m. Oh no, I might maybe Tuesday start doing a, a morning stream thing. Um, I was going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but then I remembered that Monday morning is my VOD uploading, Patreon update writing <laughs> morning. So pro probably best not do it on Mondays. Um, so Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, maybe? Mm. I don't know. We'll see. The first stream is just going to be drawing assets for the stream because I haven't got anything. <laughs> or <Right>. else. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Night. Good night. <laughs>